You are back to tea time on your number one TV station plus TV. I am the other queen, and who is this goofy? Person? <laughs> who is this goofy I'm person? I'm doing go for loot. That was an original from Mavens, of course, from my MCM Don Z. No, you no 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 no. Hello hello. Your MCM is. Kyle, be stick I said, to it. Did I not say our? I said no, 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 no. You said my. Mm -mm. No verse. We can we, we can do a playback. You said my. No verse. Uh -huh. So you, you can say tea time. You can say tea times. Tea MCM. times. Then MCM. your own is. Hey, but is my MCM that is also a. No. I haven't heard something. Well, who is who is Tony? Who is Tony? You tell me. I heard I heard you, you have a Tony apart from Kyle. What is wrong with you? Why can't you stay in one place? Hey, but my MCM I said is Kyle. They wear So next week you have a Tony. Ah, let's go. Let's go. Kyle, it's your turn today. Tony, it will be your turn next week. So just everybody, oh just 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 quick. Anyways, <laughs> like we were talking about, we we're saying earlier, we we're still talking about the fact that how much as a Nigerian living in Nigeria, how much do you think you spend monthly? How much is uh, that can sustain you for a whole month? Mm -hmm. That you think, okay, if I take this one now. You could do all right. I could do all right. Nothing will happen. How much mm. you spend? Don't go up. Don't cap like some people that said they, they spend 500k oh, to just, just go and do grocery shopping once. So people that are even doing weddings said they don't spend that much sometimes. Mm. Okay, so I'm just, I'm just <laughs> <saying>. <laughs> anyways. So that, that is how much does it cost you to live in Nigeria per month? Please be honest with me. Drop yeah. the real figures. Take your time to calculate. Thank you. Uh, I, I found this thing actually on Sunday Edna's page, but yeah. it was originally posted by Omoye Lesore. Yeah. So now today and I just put it there and it just went viral. So everybody talking about it zero nine zero nine eight four zero eight four zero eight that's the number to be part of the show and let us know and we got your back now let's go to the the first original original story for today. <laughs> okay uh, controversial singer Pote Bu hmm. Zazu Zek. sent a message to his fans to brace up ahead of uh, of the release of his new album titled Ika of Africa in a video he shared via his Instagram page Portable brag about not featuring any artists in his album which contains 16 tracks like Portable said he just dropped his, uh, 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 an album and he didn't feature anybody in it just him he's not using streaming farms whatsoever just him and 16 tracks and everybody should brace up we have a video to that effect anyway That's let's it. see this we'll be right back fight my home battle alone the land don't fear to walk alone Chumba. He can have Africa, now only me sing all the song where they do assisting track, no full journey. Chamba, I know full journey, buddy. He can have Africa, assisting track. Eh, I know full journey, why I go full journey, people? I know full journey, buddy. Me kuna can do the miss. Eh, the songs go blow. If I drop a film, me kuna can do the miss. Eh, I call the miss, but now, no full journey. <laughs> <laughs> you can't for Africa, you can't for that, you can't go for that. You know, you can't for Now, we that they talk about, you can't for that, you can't for that. If I drop my album, uh, even in no top shots, you can't for Oh, I shouldn't be. Why, why are we laughing? He, the man is speaking his truth. Oh, like not full shot. He not full <laughs> shot <laughs> but no full <laughs> shot in. All I can say is God, my bag. Why, why? <laughs> because, ah. It's not future anybody, but I mean in this future that he's, he's looking at like this, it is not future anybody. <laughs> it's actually pretty confident because I mean he also said that his tracks will blow whether or not he does anything, and when they've blown, mm. people cannot come and to do him remixes. for yes for remixes. It's, it's the it's the it's the confidence for the me. confidence like the confidence for me. Yeah, anyways, one thing about Portable that I do not, I'm not a Portable fan, mm. and I can't stand his antics and some a lot of things he does. But one thing I can tell you about him mm. is the fact that he's confident. Mm. You see, he, that is crafty. He yeah. knows that yes, I can do this and I'm gonna do it. And he said he doesn't use streaming farms and he's not even particular about if his if his mm -hmm. uh, song or album is going to be number Top one. Charts, like yeah. once I can get money to feed myself, take care of my family and be okay in this Nigeria that we yeah. ha that he's good to go he doesn't need to fool sure mm. anybody now let me tell you something about featuring that I've noticed in the industry right yeah. I used to manage uh, I used to manage an artist called Durella he was really big in days and I managed it for two years people we paid big bucks to get people on, on our songs. Of the course. only person I think we didn't pay then was uh, Whiskey. And Whiskey just did it for free because he knows him. Like, okay, you guys come, let's do that song together. And if the, people pay extremely huge amounts just mm. to have another person on your, on your song. Now, why don't you put that money together and use it for something else on your project yeah. instead of paying a recross or paying a social yeah. person to be on your and the person it doesn't even guarantee that that's the song will the take song you to the next blow. level yeah, that's, do, that's do you understand so I, I like his confidence fact that like, he's doing his thing by himself mm. and about possible she just calm down small shot you should calm down I beg you should calm down you should just calm down I beg 0909 840 that's the number to be part of the show and we have a caller hello how you doing good morning hello 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 are you there? Hello. Oh, good morning. 
Good morning. How are you? Who are we speaking with? My name is Olami Deko. Olami Deko. How are you? Good morning, Olami Deko. Welcome to the show. My name is Olaji Day. Oh, Olaji Day. Okay, uh -huh. sorry, Olaji Day. Welcome to the show. Yes, sir. Okay, so how much does it cost you to live comfortably in this country? How much do you spend monthly? You, as a guy. Uh -huh. Topic is very expensive. Hi. Hello. We are here. We are with you. Are you we can hear you. I said this topic is very, very well. Okay, the country is hard, we know that. How much do you spend? From now, mm. even a week, I stop 500,000 naira. 500,000 naira? I said weekly, more than 30,000 naira per week. Per week, more than 30,000 naira per week. Okay. Wow, that's a lot. So, that, that is so much out there. Everybody wants to jack power. Everybody wants to jack power, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. Now, wow. Mr. Jide, if you get the opportunity to jackpot right now, will you jackpot? You? Uh, ah, Jide, I've gone. Okay. Uh, 30k. He said he spends 30k per month. So 30k in a week. So 30k in four places. That's how that's much? That's like 120k. Okay. So we are getting there. We are getting there. We are getting there. Like, please, uh, there should, I, I hope the authorities and our, our guys at the top are actually watching this and listening hmm. to what people are actually going through. Some people don't even yeah. earn this much. I mean, exactly. We're not even asking how much they're earning. They're, uh, no, let's just leave it. I want anybody's earning aside now. <sighs> because by by what they, by the amount they spend weekly, mm -hmm. we can tell a lot about yeah. what they earn monthly. That's Right, so yeah, wow. that, that's about that. Let's move on to another story that's interesting for me that I, I kind of like. I wanted to talk about it. Whiskey unfollows everybody on Instagram. Now, popular Nigerian singer Ayodeji Ibrahim Balogun, better known as Whiskey, has stirred reactions among social media users as he unfollows everyone, including his colleagues, on the photo and video sharing app Instagram. Whiskey, who recently released his fifth studio album, More Love and Less Ego, did the unfollowing on his verified Instagram page. While others have been wondering why Whiskey Kid unfollowed everybody on his official Instagram page. Adekole Gold, the high crooner who was formerly signed under YBNL and Fireboy DML, reacted by doing the same. They did him a favor by unfollowing him I back. <laughs> Bam. So Adekole Gold and uh, Fireboy. Fireboy DML, just like, you know what, since you're unfollowing everybody, since everybody wants to be in the mud, let's all just be in the mud. Hello, we have a caller, by the way. Hello. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Hi, Hi. who are we speaking with? My name is Bumi. I'm calling from Vegas. Hey, Bumi from me. Lagos, how far now? Kill on Chile. I'm okay. All right, all right, all right. So, how much do, does it cost you to live comfortably in this our country? Monthly. Um, uh, okay, so my salary is about one hundred and fifty thousand naira, and before the thought is keeping my salary for me to go. Wow. Okay. So I think roughly two hundred thousand naira in a month. A wow. month. Okay. What about let's 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 yeah. break let's break it down to weekly. How much do you spend in a week? Yeah. Okay, in a week is about fifty thousand there. And hmm. um, hello, are you there? A wee. <laughs> um, okay, I think she, I think I heard her say something like she earns yeah, one fifty thousand, about, 50, about yes. one fifty thousand, and she spends about two hundred k in a mm. month. <sighs> if somebody now sit down now in the house and say you don't want to go to work now, it come out, it look like somebody is somebody is <laughs> lazy Nigerian youth. Like wow. how would I be earning a hundred and fifty thousand naira and mm. I'm spending like two hundred k monthly Just and I'll still survive. be going to work mm. of which before the uh, sal the salary comes uh, basically waiting for ever uh, waiting for you waiting for you know before you've got the money you've already spent it's finished like do you understand it's 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 a really sad situation yeah. like, ugh whiskey unfollow everybody feel, your take mm. I mean okay so. I, I didn't think it was a thing until I heard like, oh, sometimes when people blow or attain certain feet, they they exclude themselves from certain people, Circle, yeah. right? I'm like, okay, maybe because they feel like, okay, they don't need some form of pressure or unnecessary, you know, circles, right? right. But this one I don't understand because he followed everybody. I mean, I would want to assume that maybe his account was hacked or he's not even aware because I don't I don't know of any reasonable explanation as to why he would do that. Like why? He can do it. Um Kanye West has done that before. Kim Kardashian has no, done that before. Mm -mm. Donald Trump has done that before. These, uh, Chris see, Brown has done that before. See, um, oh. hold on. Um, Burner Boy has done that before. Everybody So why 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 is his own why is this his account has been hacked? 
why why can't it? mom like what's what is the what does it do for you i don't know it's just it's just to push your ego like i'm not following anybody you guys are following me it's so. unnecessary yeah I, I totally agree with you i'm with you on it actually it's because i mean like then they will start again like they'll start following people all over again he might not he might never follow people again and because be you know he has gotten to that he, he's gotten to that superstardom level like you know what i don't need you people like that you people need me you need to know what's going on in my life so mm. you guys will definitely follow to know what's going on in my life so let, let i mean it's different if there are some people that start up their account as they're not following anybody because yeah. they are probably just using it just to put out you know information yeah. or you know display you know publicity and stuff like that but not that oh you are following people and then all of a sudden you're not following them again. suddenly suddenly step in the instagram and unfollow like you, you said know? like you said let's just hope that his account is active since he hasn't Abby? said anything about it Abby? but if he posts something today or tomorrow on that account and he doesn't he doesn't address his thing. Yeah. But I know that's There's true, 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 true. <laughs> yeah, Daddy Wiz is proud. Like, <laughs> like, like, so. I just hope the uh, Whiskey FC doesn't come for me because those people were. Uh, they, they are toxic. Uh. Beware. Hey, we. There was one time we had a discussion at this table about Whiskey's album or something. I yeah. said it then. Myself, uh, it fell my and uh, it fell Shikaya. And I said it then. I was sitting right there that Whiskey's album is not going to win Grammy. That you oh. guys don't worry. And they, if you see the FC people, they went to kill me. They finished me. Someone looking for my address oh, online. Like, we'll for find real? you. Yeah, it was crazy. They threatened me. I know. And lo and behold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that did not you should have said you're not a prophet of doom no. but, <laughs> but no, it's not but yeah that's what i'm just saying whiskey defeats people are really these guys are really really toxic anyway what i like about the story is the fact that adequately gold mm. and fireboy dml they just uh, they paid him back in his own court like please be like it, it, it had that feel of ain't nobody got no time for this yeah. if you ain't gonna follow nobody we ain't following you yeah so stay on your lane yeah unfollow you just one click Actually. when you follow me back i'll follow you back again I, I can I can be petty like that, so I do that too on something. Petty right. like Petsyama. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm not going to go into that with you. Anyways, let's move away from Petiana. Do not forget, you can still be part of the co uh, conversation by calling in on zero nine zero nine eight four zero eight four zero eight and share your opinions on what we're talking about, right? Especially when it comes to how much do you spend as a Nigerian monthly? How much is convenient? How much is sufficient for you to survive with in Nigeria? Not in a lavish survival, just a normal. Let me just survive for the month. Just how much day. is yeah, just the mm. kind of survival, right? Let's go to the BB Niger. Those people, they always, they always seem to be in the news. One yeah. way or the other. If they are not sneezing, they are coughing. <laughs> they are, I saw I saw Talani badge on the... You know, that's a story for another day. I'll, <laughs> I'll give you that just... Anyway, Bibi Naija uh, Uriel Oputa says, if he only takes you out at night, then he isn't single. If it's only night that man should take you out, then he's not single. As by his allergic to daylight. Now... <laughs> <laughs> Now, you as a girl, mm. what do you think about it? Have you ever dated somebody that his ways just not not in a fraudulent way now? His mm. way just looks on on on, on streets. Mm. I mean, if truly I like to examine patterns, right? I like to examine patterns. So true, true. If there is a consistent pattern that oh he's either being secretive or every time he wants to go out, there's a particular oh it has to be in the night or it has to be a particular place or we can't go past this area or so, of course there's definitely something for me to suspect that what are you hiding from mm. or who are you hiding from but if it's for example if i, if I was in school maybe evenings would be better for me because i'll be done from my day like it would be preferable right why oh I'm, just, I'm just i'm just <laughs> smiling evenings would have been preferable but it doesn't mean right. oh, we cannot have daylights maybe lunch or something but mm. i mean condition na condition make right, fish bend. Right. but like if it's fishy or and if like i confront you and it's like no reasonable explanation then maybe i might suspect you like what are mm. you hiding well i don't think I, look okay like me now i work most times during the days mm. and even i have my times maybe from six seven i yeah. have time to like ten so what if that's the time I, I have time to take you out and just let's all chill together and it's condition now but i mean over like a span of a couple of months you can't tell me there's one day it might not even be going out. It might Trisha. be, oh, let's just chill, Netflix and chill, Trisha. or you, something. You get it. True, true, Sha. But anyway, me, I will not say that he's. I'm not talking about singleness. If it's only night, I take you. This guy is an armed robber. Oh, or vampire. Uh, there's some. There's a vamp. Is a vampire <laughs> or something? So you just better, better check that guy. Check him out well. Let's, let me quickly talk about this before we leave. Now, the yeah. boy manager, that's yeah. Bessel Bulu. Yeah, defends her son. Says uh, arrogance mm. is not pride mm. in a recent video and he she had this to say about it actually because when boy's been everywhere let's see this you talk there about you know expecting to win the mm. Grammy, and a lot of people get that from burner mm. when he tweets or does the occasional interview mm. 
the confidence, which is what you're saying now, mm. sort of is confused with arrogance. Mm. Do you mind that he's seen as arrogant? Do you mind that you... All right, so she said that uh, a lot of people think herself and her son, that's yeah. what I'm about. A lot of people tag them as arrogant, arrogant, arrogant. arrogant. Yeah. And she said, being a linguistic that she is, like, mm. arrogance can be interpreted into two ways. That mm -hmm. The one she knows is the fact that being arrogant is being confident, knowing who you are, knowing yeah. who, what your person, knowing your worth. Mm -hmm. So if that is what everybody calls arrogant, that yes, that she and Bernard Boy, they agree that they are yeah. arrogant. But if it's the prideful part, that they are not proud people and mm. all. So what, what, what do you think about that? I mean, there's definitely a thin line between confidence and pride, yeah. right? Yeah. And oh, with this, <laughs> <laughs> there's a thin line between um, confidence How thin and is this pride. Line? It's very, it's sharp thin. It's, it's okay, thin, cool. right? And I feel like the confidence is where you know you've worked hard for something mm. and you have the courage to own it Choose right and i mean we know their journey they've really worked hard and every like just their courage alone shows that okay i'm not going to be shy about my successes Choose i'm not going to be minimal i'm not gonna be you mm -hmm. know minimal uh, yeah, about it true. Like, blow, i should be able blow your to trumpet. speak like right, right blow my trumpet and be proud about it but where you start to look down on other people Bam. right or feel like you're better than other people, no. that's where I'm like, oh, you've crossed the line. You've no. crossed that thin line. I get you. Right? But own, own your successes. Don't be shy about what you've worked exactly. for. Exactly. Someone told me this morning, said to me, like, oh, Miles, you're so proud. I'm <laughs> like, uh, no, I'm not proud. I worked my butt off to be exactly where I am and mm -hmm. things I've done. I know how what, what it took me. So yeah. when I see some things that's not good, it's not good, you know, I mean, yeah. something, oh, that's fantastic, that's fantastic. So, yeah, I don't think it's pride. I just think it's just what it is. Yeah. They're they arrogantly... Confidence. Confidence. <laughs> Anyways, okay. this is where we call it wrap today. It's been amazing. We came, we saw, and we definitely conquered. Thank you so very much to everybody who's been part of the show. Uh, you can always join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time. And remember, you can catch up on our previous episode, including this very one, and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. You can also watch Tea Time on R2 TV and in London on Ben Television and Star Times Channel 308. A big thank you to Osari the Edo Queen. A big thank you to Tony, Toby. Kyle D, uh, who else? Who's the S there? Oh, Esther. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, I call her Esther. Everybody, <laughs> Every person who's there who's punching the buttons and making it happen, thank you so very much to all you. And everybody who called in, thank you. Without you guys, we have no business. Oh, Steven, how could I possibly forget my Steven? Thank you. Thank you so very much. Okay, it's okay. Thank you to everybody, <laughs> everybody who called, because I keep telling me, everybody just giving me names. You, you, you people just bring lists, everybody right? Shouting. We gotta go. Do not drink and drive. Put God first and the rest is history. Whatever this you do, drink a lot of water. And mind your, and mind your business. business. It helps you live long. We'll be here tomorrow. We out. <laughs>